We head to the Bighorn Mountains of Wyoming. There's a couple of Bigfoot sighting reports that motivate us to come into the area and take a look around for Bigfoot. I'm going to go over the reports with you. We'd like to show you the area as we go into Bigfoot and we'd like to give you the sighting reports on location that motivate us to come into the area. We just don't stumble around the woods in any given place looking for Bigfoot. We're in the area for sighting reports, not just the onesie twosie sighting reports, but we like a history of Bigfoot sightings, several different witnesses over several different years. That's what motivates us to come into the area. I'll give you the most recent Bigfoot sighting report that we're interested in first and then down in the description of this video I'll provide a link to the original sighting reports. The witness's brother writes BFRO. I'm reporting this for my brother who does not have access to the internet. I think he had a pretty good sighting in Wyoming on January 11, 2003. It was at night. Can you contact him at home anytime after 6 p.m. Pacific time zone? I will give you his address and phone number on the bottom. He gave me permission to contact you. It appears the BFRO investigator wants to remain anonymous. His name does not appear on the report. Here's what the follow-up investigation report entails. I contacted the witness by phone after talking to the person who submitted this report, his brother. After the initial interview, I later called and spoke with him once more. On January 11, 2003, the witness, DJ, along with his wife and child, were driving west between Gillette and Buffalo, Wyoming on Interstate 90. They were traveling home to Las Vegas from Aberdeen, South Dakota. It was between midnight and 1 a.m. in the morning, so it could have been the 12th, and DJ's wife and child slept in the back seat. The witness said it was very cold out, way below zero, and that it was a bright night with the moon. They were about a third of the way to Buffalo from Gillette, and DJ was seeing mule deer along the sides of the road. Then up ahead he saw an upright animal cross the road from south to north. It was big. It walked on two legs and had a stooped posture. He further described it as being covered with hair and said it had no neck and it had shoulders like a linebacker. The animal turned its whole torso to look toward his approaching car and he said the eyes shined red. DJ told me that he grew up hunting in South Dakota has hunted deer all his life. He said his brother, the one who submitted the report, because DJ does not have a computer, has always been interested in Bigfoot, but he himself never believed in it. He empathetically said, no, that it wasn't a person out there and it was no bear. It was nothing he had seen before. Two or three times during our conversation, DJ described the animal as ape-like. When I asked him about his statement in which he described himself previously as a non-believer, he said, Right, I believed it didn't exist. But now, after seeing what I saw out there, I know what I saw. No doubt about it. What everybody else says, I don't care. What's true is true. He went on to say that people are giving him a hard time about it, but he thinks it's just a matter of time before one turns up, then he will be vindicated. The town of Buffalo sits on the foot of the Bighorn Mountains along their eastern flank. I-90 from Gillette to Buffalo is 67 miles of desolate, treeless, rolling sage hills full of draws and gullies, and also full of mule deer. I've traveled this road many times myself. You have to be careful driving that road at night because they're everywhere. A few years ago I saw an elk, I think, somewhat near Buffalo than where DJ had his sighting. It was about zero degrees Fahrenheit there in the morning of the 12th and fairly breezy, so it was very cold. Interstate 90 crosses the south flowing Powder River at about halfway point to Buffalo, but it sounds like this sighting was several miles east of that. It's an interesting thing, the idea of Sasquatch out in the country like that in January cold. Because this Bigfoot sighting happened in the wintertime at the base of the Bighorn Mountains, we believe that the Bigfoot's main habitat is the Bighorn Mountains. 
just like anywhere in the cold winter time when the snow gets deep the Bigfoot will go down into the valleys where it's a little warmer a little less snow and probably more food we're in the Bighorn Mountains looking around for Bigfoot we're gonna give you the other Bigfoot sighting report in the Bighorn Mountains that we're here to investigate the area I hope you enjoyed watch this to the end so you can see the other Bigfoot sighting and the beauty of the Bighorn Mountains keep on watching we're gonna keep on squatching this Bigfoot sighting happened in the summer of 2000. It was June 23rd. They were on their way from Rapid City and they were headed east into the Bighorn National Forest. They were on the switchbacks, some 11 miles east from Ten Sleep, Wyoming. Here's the report. I was driving. My wife was in the passenger seat and had the sighting. We had hardly been through Yellowstone on a cross-country trip and had been on a lookout for wildlife our whole trip. So my wife was very sure of what she saw. She had been good about picking out antelope, deer, and a grizzly bear on the earlier days of the trip. We were proceeding up the mountain pass and were in the middle of the switchbacks when my wife saw what she described as a man in dark clothes on the side of the road on an upcoming part of the pass. She was visibly surprised that the man was not there as we turned the corner where he would have been. There were steep cliffs on each side of the road with no turnouts and very little shoulder. She told me that she was paying attention as we rounded the switchback where he would have been so she could warn me about the man on the side of the road. This happened around noon on a bright sunny day. Mountainous forest, very steep hills, numerous rock formations and cliffs. There was a small river in the valley. The follow-up investigation reports uh, no name of the investigator. Looks like the investigator uh, from this area likes to remain anonymous. Here's his follow-up investigation report. I spent the day with the witness's husband and found him to be very open about the subject and his wife's sighting. He did not see anything because he was concentrating on driving, but assured me that his wife was very good eyesight and observing skills, constantly pointing out animals as they were driving. I will leave a link to this report in the description of the video. I hope you enjoyed a look at a Bigfoot sighting location, the Bighorn Mountains of Wyoming. We really enjoy going out and investigating sighting report areas. We don't mind if the report happened yesterday, last week, last year, or a hundred years ago. We enjoy the history of sightings, a Bigfoot sighting that happened 40 years ago. We went in to investigate the area. The third time in there, we found footprints. And since then, we have found dozens of footprints, heard vocalizations, had what we thought was a bluff charge by an animal that stayed unseen, but let us know it was in there through a territorial stomping on the ground and breaking limbs and so forth. So if we can have success with the 40 year old sighting and you had a sighting 30 years ago 50 years ago we still want to hear about it i hope you guys enjoy a look around this bigfoot sighting area the beautiful bighorn mountains keep on watching we're gonna keep on squatching